Behold the power of conversation and something just falling directly into your lap by pure innocent accident. Hello guys, welcome, or if you've already seen my channel before, welcome back. I am the Philadelphia Whovian, and if you've seen my channel before, you know that every now and again I watch or get recommendations to watch older shows that I actually have a very fun time watching. And one of those recommendations I was given was the TV show Are You Being Served? And I bought the whole TV show on DVD. It was actually for a very good price. Ended up really liking the show. But here's what happened. One day, I was at work, and I was just speaking to someone very innocently. He's one, you know, one of the one of the men I work with from an older generation, a more classical time. And I was mentioning, "Are you being served?" And he's like, "Did you see the movie, though?" And I said, "No, I haven't." He said, "Don't worry, I'll loan it to you. I'll bring it into work, and you can watch it." And I was like, "Oh my God, are you serious?" Again, the power of innocent conversation. Okay, I'm back. I am back. And then the very next day, he actually gave me three DVDs to borrow. Are You Being Served? Memento. I've seen Memento before, but I'm happy he gave it to me so I can see it again. But he also gave me another movie I have not watched yet. Run, Lola, Run. Which I do have to see. But, the, what we're talking about right now is that movie that I saw first and foremost. Are You Being Served? The movie. Yes! I got this movie, and I said, oh my god, I'm so excited, went home after work, then turns out I was too tired to watch anything, fell straight asleep, woke up the next day, went to work, came back, and began to watch this movie. I watched it every day, but I always came home late, so I couldn't watch it all, and I would fall asleep watching it, not because it was not awesome, oh, it was awesome. It's just something about Are You Being Served has a calming effect on me, it literally helps me forget about all my problems in the outside world, calms me down, and gives me an ability to just kind of go into a nice, beautiful slumber. It's not because it's boring, no, this don't you dare say it's boring. It's not. It just has a calming effect on me. Unlike something a lot of movies do not have. You know, this move, this does. So, are you being served? Now, the cast. When it comes to this, we have Mrs. Slocum. He <laughs> played by Molly Sugden. We also have Mr. Humphreys, played by John Inman. We have Mr. Lucas, played by Trevor Bannister. We have Frank Thornton, playing Captain Peacock. We have Wendy Richards, playing Mrs. Brahms. I want to say we also have Arthur English, playing Mr. Gosh darn, it's not Humble, is it? I forget his name. I forget his name. Mr. Har Mr. Harmon. Yes, I'm humble. <laughs> Mr. Harmon, I'm sorry. I think it's Harold Bennett is playing young Mr. Grace. And then I want to say it's Matthew Brow who's playing Mr. Granger. And when it comes to... What's his name? What's his name? Nicholas Smith. Oh, God. Sorry. It's a lot of names. Okay, it's a lot of names. Work with me here. Work with me. Nicholas Smith, <laughs> who's also in it as well. And we get also in this, and I was watching it, I said, oh, my God, no way. Andrew Sachs guest stars in this, and you know Andrew Sachs. Be, if you've seen Faulty Towers, he played Emmanuel. There were two other main guest stars in this who were all awesome. Long story short, it's all awesome. The director did a fantastic job with this. I want to say the director is Bob Kellett, but I could be totally wrong. And of course, the writers are just absolutely astounding in every single way. I want to say Jeremy Lloyd is one of the writers, but I could be totally wrong with that. I, I could be. In fact, no, don't quote me on that. And I want to say it's also David Croft, but don't quote me on that either. If they are, if I am right, in some magical way, if I am right, they are amazing writers. Okay, when I come to putting this in, I was excited, but with Are You Being Served, the movie, I was also nervous. I was petrified, because I like the show, but sometimes when shows do movies, they're not always as good as the show they did a movie of. But very soon into this, I ended up being pleasantly surprised. Very pleasantly surprised. It was absolutely hilarious. There were some jokes from the TV show, but then there was also a lot of very new jokes. It was just joke after joke after joke. And then, um, well, all the cast is amazing. I mean, it is an amazing cast of people. But the fact is, Molly Sugden, like, <laughs> A 
genius, okay? Um, like, she's, okay, I'm trying to think of, if you've never seen her before, if you've never seen Are You Being Served, try to think of who I can compare her to. Okay, if you've seen the movie, it's a mad, 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 mad world? There are, like, four mads in that title. Um, there's an actress in it who was, like, literally the mother of American musical comedy, Ethel Merman. Ethel Merman is a genius of an actress. Okay, think Ethel Merman, slightly different acting style, but still, Ethel Merman's uh, just uh, her gusto and her just uh, comedic ability. Ethel Merman, and then think of an English actress, that is Molly Sugden. That's Molly Sugden. The woman is just a comedic genius. She is absolutely hilarious. And then John Inman as Mr. Humphreys is always hilarious. By God, yes, he is. And then Trevor Bannister is also very funny as well. I mean, they're all funny. I'm just saying Molly, you know, John, and Trevor are just incredible. Of course, Captain Peacock is amazing. Arthur English as Miss Hammond is absolutely amazing. Young Master Grace, when he's there, he's funny. And the guest cast is also very funny as well. Uh, again, it's a great cast of people. They work with each other so very much. And they were always bringing... That's the thing. They brought it to this. All the actors brought their best to this. They didn't slack off. They know they, they made it just as good, as awesome as the TV show that it was. The writing, again, very hilarious. Mrs. Slocum, between the writers and Molly, having the ability to consistently do a pussy joke. If you don't know the show, you think I'm being vulgar. I'm not. Watch the show, you'll know what I mean by pussy. But the fact that Molly keeps making that joke funny and the writers keep bringing and trusting Molly with it is very funny. But also her other joke, I am unanimous in this. She never stops making the same thing funny, and that's tricky. That's not easy, but Molly just somehow knows to do it. She just really knows how to do it, and i got to give her credit for that. I mean, go Molly Sugden. Mm -hmm. And so the, the energy this cast also has is pretty astounding as well, but that could just be me. That could be me, but either way, this movie was absolutely hilarious to me, and then there's a scene where, okay, I admit this movie, this... Show and movie is not a politically correct show. It's of its times. And you have, the, you know, this, you know, these people from of ethnic descent, they were coming in to be fitted and they can't be touched. And Mr. Humphreys comes up with a very clever way of getting, fitting them without touching them. Again, it can come across as offensive, but this was the times and this is comedy. Comedy by its very nature can be offensive sometimes. That's just the way things go. Just the way it is. Um, so, I, you know, I don't get mad at these sort of things. I admit, but if you get mad, I admit, if you are a politically correct person, do not watch Are You Being Served. It's not for you. You'll be very disappointed. That's just the way the cookie grumbles. Okay, also, when it comes to this movie, of the jokes, there was this ongoing concept of there was something in on a mannequin that was in their wife fronts or their trousers or their, their pants, technically their pants. That's a term for it because it's his underwear, and it kept moving, and it was all music happening, and each cast member inspected it, <laughs> and while well, it was moving in the mannequin's pants, or wife fronts, if you will, even though they technically were not wife fronts, but still, and then Mrs. Slocum had the Union Jack or Union Flag undergarments, Either way, it was just a constant joke after joke after joke after joke, and I absolutely dug it. It felt like it was... It's a mad, 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 mad world, but as are you being served. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, have you seen Are You Being Served, the movie? I have. I have, and I didn't even have to pay for it. I so love it when I don't have to pay for things. Don't you? Don't you? So guys, thank you so very much for watching, and you guys were awesome. I had a great time once more enjoying a classic show, and hope to do it again sometime. Bye, guys.